Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to use these watercolor pencils to make an adorable fall or Halloween pumpkin. I'm going to use the three Halloween colors of orange, purple, and green. And I'm going to start out by using the Santorini stone and lining out the pumpkin. So I'm going to start with the stem and then line out kind of the sections of the pumpkin. Pumpkins have this unique shape and lines when you're drawing them out. So I'm using the orange watercolor pencil because this will end up not being as crucial to the design once we get further into it. I just kind of need some guidelines before we start adding the color to the pumpkin. I'm going to continue with the orange watercolor pencil and start filling in kind of some shading around each of the corners. So kind of from the center pushing out just kind of curvature on both the top and the bottom of the pumpkin. This doesn't have to be perfect. When we come back with the water brush, that kind of is gonna make it even more imperfect. So just kind of shading and coloring like you would when you were in elementary school. That's one of the things I like about the watercolor pencils. You can just kind of go with it. They're easy to hold, they're easy to control, they're easy to come back and fix if you wanna add more color. And now I'm gonna come in and do the same thing with both the purple and the green. So just adding it right next to the orange and continuing out that kind of shading and coloring just so that we have a mixture of those Halloween colors. Now if you don't have Santorini stones or they're not something you like working with, you could still achieve this design with the watercolor pencils by using, um, I would base coat a normal stone with gesso, with the Liquitex gesso or a white chalk paint. It's just gotta be something that's got a little bit more of a matte finish than just the regular matte paint, something that's got some grip. And you can still achieve the same thing, watercolor pencils and then the water brushes and you'll get the watercolor effect. I'm not sure why regular watercolors still intimidate me, but they do. So I really like these pencils because you can kind of draw them on with a little more control and then gain the watercolor effect with the water brushes. So if you're a little intimidated by regular watercolors, give these a try. They're pretty affordable and they're a lot of fun to work with. Now this is the water brush, so it's a brush that has water in the chamber. You fill it up and then you squeeze it and a little bit of water comes out. So I usually squeeze and dab and kind of play around with how much water I want to put on the stone. The more water you put on your design, the more it's going to dilute the color. So you can easily end up with a really light version of the color that you applied. So you just kind of have to play with it. And I like pushing around the pencil strokes so that you can't see that it looks like coloring anymore. I want it to look like watercolor. So I will kind of push around those pencil strokes until they disappear. And if you want it to look more watery, you can kind of drop more water and then leave it alone. If you push the water around too much, you end up diluting the color. So because I did exactly that and diluted some of my color more than I wanted to, I'm going to come back with the watercolor pencils after this dries and fill in some more color. So I'm adding some more purple here. I'm going to brighten up some of the orange and the green. You can do that. Just let it dry and then come back with the pencil and then go back again with the water brush and just it brightens it up. You can move it around, kind of blend the colors together if you want them to kind of mush together in certain spots. You just kind of play around with this. Um, you really gotta let yourself go, so it's a challenge sometimes, but it's fun. Now I'm gonna take this Sakura Pigma Fine Line Paint Pen and start adding some of the sketch detail that's gonna make this look kind of like a scribbly pumpkin. So I'm gonna start with a really basic outline, kind of where I went with the orange pencil in the very beginning to give the definition to the pumpkin. And then I'm gonna come back and just add some kind of sketchy lines. So there's gonna be multiple lines on each of these sections of the pumpkin, and it just gives it that sketchy look, like maybe somebody was sitting with a sketchbook and kind of, you know, drew this pumpkin out. I'm also gonna add two big curly cues stem leaves, I guess you'd call them, and darken them up a little bit so that they're nice and visible on the pumpkin. And then the next thing after I've got these nice and darkened up is I'm going to take some hologram extreme glitter and I'm going to take a disposable eyeliner brush and just kind of add it in those same kind of corners in the bottom and the top of the pumpkin sections and just kind of wisp it up and down so that the pumpkin has a little bit of sparkle. Once the resin goes on, it'll have a little bit of sparkle that will catch the eye. I'm gonna 
come back with the black pen and make sure that I cover up any glitter that went over the top of those curly Q stems. And then before I resin this stone, I'm going to give it a light spritz of a clear coat spray sealer. And the reason I do this is so that the watercolor doesn't run when the resin hits it. There can be a small chance of that. And here you can see how pretty it is when the sun hits that glitter. I'm so excited that spooky season is upon us. Don't forget to check out some of the other fall and Halloween videos. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss future uploads. And as always, thank you so much for stopping by to watch. I will see you next time.